Protesters in Bangladesh are planning a long march to Dhaka. Today, as demonstrators clashed with the police over the weekend, dozens of police were reported, uh, were reported injured, dozens of people, meanwhile, were reported dead, and many more arrested in the unrest, which has evolved from a student-led protest over job quotas to a broad anti-government movement. Tensions have heightened. As far as the UK is concerned, far-right protesters have clashed with the police there. There's an, a hotel which had asylum seekers that was attacked. The violence has now spread to other cities. Tensions have heightened in the Middle East with the US moving warships to the region to defend Israel if Iran attacks. While several Western governments urgently told their citizens to leave Lebanon as Hezbollah launched a barrage of strikes targeting Israel. Almost since the war began, Ukraine has worked to acquire F-16s from its allies and trained pilots to fly them. Now, they're finally taking flight. The Ukrainian president has shared a video showing the new F-16s taking off, calling the moment a new phase for development for the Air Force in Ukraine. Kamala Harris interviewed three VP contenders after she became the official Democratic presidential nominee. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, and Arizona Senator Mark Kelly met with Kamala Harris in D.C. and she is expected to announce her choice imminently.